Okay, so I don't think anybody really saw this coming. It just kind of came completely out of left field. But I'm not mad because I definitely think that this had to be a card sooner than later. And now it's happening. So guys, apparently the next summonable LR coming to the JP side of the game, it's going to be an LR Turles squad. So first things first, let's quickly check out these animations because I think they're super clean. And then we'll get into the details. Okay, so let me just turn up the volume here a little bit. And here we go. Yeah, that's that's clean. Those are, those are some clean ass animations. Now, I'll be honest, like Turles is not my favorite character in the franchise by any means, but I do appreciate him. You know, I do like him and the members of his squad are finally getting some love, right? Like Ballsack head guy is finally getting the LR he deserves. Now, one thing I was laughing at when I was watching the animations was that this part where he's eating the fruit like it looks like it's just kind of like licking it or something like that like it's really weird i mean it's just the animation i guess but that made me laugh but overall i think the animations look great they're not the best animations i've seen either but they're up there for sure and the ost man the ost for turles is absolute fire yo one sec one sec Anyways, you guys, you guys get the point. I'm a big fan of this unit. I'm excited for it. And uh, now let's pop over to the uh, Twitter page of the homie Goresh, of course, who has provided us with the translation super, super quick. So big shout out to him. And uh, let's check it out. Okay, so it's an STR Turles army. And uh, the leader skill is Terrifying Conquerors, category key plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%, or Extreme STR types, key plus four, HP, attack, and defense. It's supposed to be 100%, not 130%. This was a typo. And super attacks. 12 key causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. 18 key crusher genocide raises attack for one turn, causes mega colossal, colossal, colossal damage with a high chance to stun. Passive, attack and defense plus 130%. Terrifying Conquerors, category key plus 3. Attack and defense plus 30%. Love the support. Key plus 6. And attacks effective against all types when attacking an enemy in the stunned status. And then attacks effective against all types and high chance to perform an additional super attack when key is 24. And then he has an active skill where he of course eats the fruit. And he's able to use that when HP is 60% or below or once eight turns have passed from the start of battle and it can be used a maximum of two times so this um active skill can be popped up to two times in a fight so maybe like one turn you use it and then the next turn if you want to use it again or you want to save it you can but i think this might be the first active skill in the game that can be proc twice correct me if i'm wrong i can't remember another active skill out there that can actually be used more than once so this might be a brand new Thing. like not a huge change but definitely something that I don't remember seeing before and uh, the ability basically gives him key plus 24 so you know you get that guaranteed 24 key super so you get the attacks effective against all types and also the high chance to perform an additional super attack links are a brutal beatdown oh real quick let me just uh do that oh nope uh do that so links are brutal beatdown prepare for battle Big bad bosses, thirst for conquest, destroyers of the universe, uh, fierce battle, and legendary power and categories are terrifying conquerors, movie bosses, joint forces, and final trump card. Okay, so there you go. That is the LR Turles army that 
like I said, man, I don't think anybody really saw it coming. If you did, then congratulations. But uh, it is super random after, you know, the Angel Golden Frieza came out. I think a lot of people were expecting another tournament, tournament, tournament. I can't talk right now. What is happening? Tournament of Power themed unit, right? If we were going to get a new LR and... You know, Turtles Army is um, very far from that theme, but I guess it kind of makes sense because, you know, Bandai doesn't always follow themes for like every release, right? So I think when like Godku dropped last year, it came out of nowhere too. Like nobody saw Godku coming, but, um, you know, it's okay. Turtles Army is finally here. Ballsack Head Guy finally has an LR, uh, Kakao, and I keep forgetting the rest of his squad. I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, at least Ballsack Head Guy, I remember, so... Actually, I don't even know his, his actual name. Is it Raisin? Razin? Something like that? But, uh, either way, man, this card looks really good. It's got the support, it's got a good amount of attack and defense. Um, key plus six, attacks effective against all types. When attacked enemy is in stun status, of course, he has a very good chance to stun. Medium chance for the 12 key, high chance for the 18 key, which is 50%. So, there's a good chance that if the enemy... Uh, can be stunned, right? It's not like immune to stun, then after a couple of supers, they should be stunned, right? So you get that key plus six, uh, attacks effective against all, and then if you use your active skill or you just have 24 key from, you know, orbs or whatever, then you get that uh, guaranteed attacks effective against all and high chance to perform a digital super attack. So if you're launching two supers, that's double the damage. Um, very good LR overall, not too complicated, and honestly, for this card, I don't mind it at all. You know, like that passive just works, I think it's great. The condition for his active skill is not the best, but not terrible either. 60% HP, could have been worse, and the 8 turns thing, I mean, it's just there as like a failsafe, I guess, in case you never get below 60% HP, but for the most part, for harder events, you will fall below 60% HP before 8 turns. Have passed right and the fact that you can pop it twice is uh even better and i especially love that uh support side of his passive key plus three attack and defense plus 30 percent imagine this guy on the same rotation as the agl turles that's going to be key plus six attack plus 70 percent and defense plus 30 percent you add in another 30 percent support it's up to a hundred percent attack you know 60 percent defense something crazy like that so uh yeah this card i think is going to be very impressive i'm expecting some big damage numbers some good tanking and uh yeah i have nothing to complain about let me know in the comments down below guys how would you evaluate this card right now at least based on the details on paper obviously we can't test it right now but i do think he's going to be or they are going to be one of the better lrs in the game and uh, I'm excited to see them in action. Okay, so that is the video, guys. That is all the information I have for you right now. LR Turles Army on its way over to the JP side of the game, I'm assuming. Actually, I know for sure it's going to be a legendary summon banner. So for anybody summoning, good luck to you. And uh, that's all I got to say. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.